Good morning, Loma scholars, staff, and family. It is Wednesday, May 6th. We are halfway through the week, and we are getting very close to a Packet 3 pickup. Packet 3 pickup is actually next Monday and Tuesday, May 11th and May 12th. So some of you have been wondering, what do I do with Packet 2? Do I turn it in? Do I not turn it in? Yes, please bring it with you when you come to pick up Packet 3. We will have boxes out there for you to put in Packet 2 as you collect Packet 3. We are Those teachers are getting all the information of the students who have completed Packet 2. If you don't complete it all, turn in what you have, and we will record that. We want to have all of that information of all the work you did so that we can log that and um, put that onto report cards when they come out. As far as an official grading policy, that will come from the district. But we do want to make sure that we recognize students for the work that they got done during this distance learning time. So please, turn in Packet 2 when you pick up Packet 3, Monday, May 11th, and Tuesday, May 12th. Speaking of students who've been getting their work done, Miss Vargas would like to recognize the following students. Um, Bradley and Dulce from Miss Kim's class for joining our joint Google classroom. Great job, Bradley and Dulce. Also, Kenna for answering questions from Wonders on Padlet, and Nayeli for finishing Wonders vocabulary assignment. Great job, Nayeli. These things are being documented by your teacher, so please keep doing that work online or doing the packet and turning it in. That would be fantastic. And for our English learners, there will be another very, very small packet for you to pick up as well to help support your ELD work. You should also be doing Imagine Learning. Imagine Learning is open up to all of our EL students. So please reach out to your teachers to find out how you can be accessing Imagine Learning. Imagine Learning should be done about 30 minutes a day. 20 for the younger grades, because sometimes 30 minutes is a little bit of a challenge, but 20 to 30 minutes a day, and your teachers are actually looking at the reports to see how you've been doing. So please make sure you're getting that done. And lastly, tomorrow is the day that I put together the Roar Rally, and I really would like to recognize our teachers during that. So please, if you have a picture, a thank you card, a, a video that you want to send to your teacher, please email it to Ms. Ratcliffe at beth.ratcliffe at lmsvschools.org so that it can be in the Roar Rally and your teachers can see just how much you appreciate them on this Teacher Appreciation Week. And now let's stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Put your right hand over your heart. Ready, begin. 